Domain names are assets, they are not marketing expenses. Hey Chris, I with Media Options. Help companies acquire the raw version of their brand, work on some of the best domains on the planet. Check that out over at chriszeiker.com. Check out mediaops.com. Check out my YouTube channel. Check out my podcast. Got a lot of podcasts. A couple new ones coming this week. Anyways, I say this a lot. Like domain names are assets. Okay, they're not marketing expenses. They can be resold again in the future if your business plans change, and they have a profound impact on your company's. Um, just the foundation of your company. Okay, I call that the seven dimensions. It's global positioning, it's industry positioning, it's marketing, it's branding, it's SEO. It is uh, email security and the ability to scale. Hopefully that is seven. But uh, it was interesting because we're, we're taping a show, the Off the Market Forever on Domain Sherpa. It's a new show we have once a month with James Isles. Check it out, awesome, James is awesome. He has uh, just a lot of great articles and analysis into domain names, in, into the domain world, domains that have sold and statistics on unicorns, all kinds of good stuff. You can also check out his blogs on the Media Options uh, on our website, uh, on the blog section, and uh, at James, uh, jamesnames.com. Anyways, we're talking about the sale of a, uh, a domain name recently. It was fetch.com. And this, this uh, domain name was originally with a company that was doing uh, fetch delivery in San Antonio. It was like a local, I think they had like maybe three uh, suburbs or four suburbs, but it looked to be like primarily San Antonio. Uh, San Antonio, hopefully I got that right. Anyways, they recently uh, sold the domain name to Fetch Rewards, and Fetch Rewards is now rebranding. Fetch Rewards has, I wanna say they've raised like $80 million or something, maybe it's like 500 million, like something just like astronomical, like in a different world, you know? And they went and acquired the domain name Fetch.com from Fetch, uh, I'm sorry, they were FetchRewards.com. They were acquired it from Fetch Del uh, Delivery, uh, which is now rebranded to FetchDeliver.com. And you know, when we first started the conversation, we're like, wow, okay, you know, what really happened here? You know, we're looking at like their business model, they're going on business, are they, you know, why did they pivot? What did they get for it? But uh, we quickly kind of all agreed that this was just another great example that domain names are assets. You know, I mean, if this company, you know, if they only, you know, we don't know what, okay, first of all, we don't know what the price was they sold it for. We don't know anything on the background. But uh, I hope they got a great price. If they didn't, it's probably because they didn't use a domain broker like Media Options. So they should have used a domain owner like Media Options because we could have steered them and helped them negotiate a phenomenal price for that domain name. But uh, let's say, let's just say, okay, Outland is here, okay, that all they, all they did is they bought that domain name and they held it, okay, and I, I got to go back and look at when they actually bought it. But let's say they held it for a couple of years and they resold it, okay. Let's say they just did it in like as a domain investor. They probably made a significant amount of money um, out of that sale of that domain name. Okay, I know what domain names go for. Okay, I know the back end um, because 98% of our domain names, you will never hear about the sales price. You won't even hear about them in general because we just don't share it, right? It's not my place to share the sale of a domain name. It's the people, it's, it's the company that's buying it. That's my philosophy. And it's because like it's, it's just a strategic advantage, right? They should be able to announce that sale on their terms because it's, uh, you know, I mean, why should I announce it, right? I mean, what if, what if it's a strategic thing um, and they want to keep it from their competition? They have a big marketing that's a big marketing play and a rebrand that's coming up. They want to announce that to the marketplace. And one big, you know, marketing effort for me to say, hey, I sold this domain name. It just wouldn't be right, you know, it just wouldn't, wouldn't be right. So we don't know anything about this, but if they just, if you think about it from this standpoint, like from a investor, the main investing standpoint, okay, they bought it, another company came in, raised 600 million or 580 million or 80, I forget, I think it was in the $500 million range. Wow, you know, what a great investment, right? Now, hopefully they got some capital to expand their business, maybe they're looking at a rebrand, who knows? You know, maybe they can maybe they'll find another amazing domain name for, for a great price, right? Uh, but it just shows you the power of domain names, and domain names are assets. They're mar not marketing expenses, okay? You think, you know, direct response marketing, you're putting money in, and if your headlines are wrong, if your subheadlines are wrong, you got a link wrong, if uh, you send traffic to a competitor, right? You don't get that back, it's done. Like, you spent that money, it's done. That's not with a domain name. A domain name keeps producing for you years and years and years and years, okay? It creates an effortless path for your brand. It's an asset. Domain names are assets. Anyways, if you're looking to acquire a domain name, if you're looking to sell a domain, in this case, uh, man, you should have reached out to us, could have got you a better price maybe. Uh, or if you're looking to buy that, you should have reached out to us, could have helped you buy that, right? We are, we're in the acquisition business and in the sales business. 
reach out to us. Love to help you. MediaOptions.com, ChrisZeiker.com.